Did you know there is a festival dedicated to stealing wives? Yep. While most festivals celebrate food and fun, this one leans more towards marital chaos. Now, meet the Wudabe tribe, a close subgroup of the Fulani people living as nomads across West Africa. They are known for their fancy outfits and wild traditions. The main thing they are the hottest guys around and carry mirrors to back it up because who doesn't love a little self-admiration? Mm -hmm. In this tribe, marriages are arranged when kids are just babies, but women can have as many partners as they want before tying the knot. Now, here's the real showstopper, the annual Gariwo Festival. During this festival, the men really go all out, dressing up in extravagant costumes to impress not just any woman, but the wives of other men. Hmm. They spend six hours getting ready to dance and show off their best moves, hoping to win over some married ladies. The tribe beauty standards are pretty specific. Bright eyes, straight nose, and dazzling smiles. So, they use red clay for makeup, eyeliner to make their eyes pop, and even lipstick to whiten their teeth. And let's not forget the stylish white ostrich feathers in their hair to add a little height. Now, as part of the celebration, the men perform circle dances while three of the tribe's most attractive women judge their moves. If a guy manages to swipe a woman away without getting caught, he's suddenly her new husband. Hmm. In this polygamous culture, stealing a wife is all in good fun. Though, some guys are a bit worried their wives might actually get swiped. So, if you ever find yourself at a festival where wife snatching is the main event, Maybe keep a close eye on your partner, or better still, don't attend at all. Ha! Who knew romance could actually be a competitive sport?